guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm super duper excited because I'm going to be starting a new project pan called Drop 10 by Summer, and this is a project pan that is in collab with the Fantastic Ladies over on Facebook. I will leave their link down below and some information about it. But basically, so a group of us are planning to drop 10 products, so use up 10 products, and also some people are dropping 10 pounds as well. And if you know me at all personally, I have been on a weight loss journey since last June. I've already lost between 20 and 25 pounds. It kind of fluctuates a little bit, but I'm feeling really, really good. And I have decided to add into the dropping 10 pounds as well, because then I'll be at 30 to 35 pounds for the year of my weight loss from 2017 to 2018. This project actually started yesterday on March 21st, 2018, and it ends on June 21st, 2018, which is perfect because that is a little bit more than a week before my birthday. My birthday is actually July 1st, so hopefully I can lose that other 10 pounds before for my birthday. Honestly, I'm hoping to lose about 20, but I think 20 pounds in three months is a little bit much. So yeah, anyways, let me get started on these products and showing you the products that I have. I am not gonna tell you my exact weight right now. I do plan on doing like a weight loss video and I will be sharing my weight on there and some photos of before and after. But as of right now, I'm not quite comfortable doing that yet. So hopefully that'll be coming up soon here. But anyways, I'm gonna get right into the products right now. So a few questions before I start. Let me know how you guys feel about the mirror in the background, see how you can see me in the mirror. Let me know how you feel about that. That is a mirror that I want to feature more on my, on my videos because my brother actually made me that mirror and I love it. It's so bright, it has like the bright whites bright white lights that he you know put around the outside he actually put the frame together around the glass and colored it and everything so i just i love that mirror so let me know if you guys are okay with kind of seeing my head in the background basically if not i can move it over a little bit so it doesn't show me but i really want to feature my mirror more often so there's that. <laughs> but anyways, here are the products that I chose and in no particular order. So the first product is the Davidoff Cool Water Women. You guys saw this in my sample project pan update. And here we are here. I will take a photo of this so that you guys can see where we are in the next update, but that is where we are currently. And I just want to get this completely used up. I do have a full size, so I want to use up this little sample guy. The next product that I chose is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara, and this is in the shade 02 Brownie Brows. And I really do enjoy this eyebrow mascara. It is a fibrous mascara. So, you know, it has those little tiny fibers, but I have this on my eyebrows right now and I can tell that it's nearing the end of its life. Um, I am actually gonna put some eye drops in it and kind of freshen it up a little bit before I get this project started, but I really do like this and I wanna completely finish it up because sometimes when my brow products are starting to get to the end of their life, I tend to neglect them until I have to throw them away, which is silly. So I just wanna finish using this up. The third product I chose is the Tarte Gifted Mascara. I haven't used this since I tried it and yeah, I don't think that's fair for it. So it, it does have a natural fiber brush and I just, I really, really like this mascara and I feel like the same thing. It's getting neglected in my collection as I'm trying to use other items. So I just want to use this up during the three months and after the three months is over, I'm sure it will be gone. Okay, so my fourth product that I am going to be adding into this drop 10 by summer is the Purely's BB Tinted Moist Cream with an SPF of 30 and it is a natural looking coverage with a flawless finish for all skin types, even sensitive. And I have the shade Medium. I'm not sure where I got this, I think I got this in some of my one of my boxes or in a sample like a free sample kit um, but I tried it twice I've used it once in Florida and then once when I got back and I loved it it had amazing coverage I loved it so much that I looked online to see how much it was so that I could possibly buy it and 
I just, I'm really, really enjoying using this. Like I said, I've only used it twice, so there is quite a bit of product left in here. You don't need much. You guys know me, I do like more of a natural to a light finish on my foundation. Most of the time I don't even like a medium finish. Today, actually, for instance, I'm only wearing a BB cream, so I really do like this kind of finish, and I plan on using this whole thing up. The fifth product is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. Here it is. Here it is a full size. This was my very first high-end liquid lipstick purchase that I ever had, and it's getting pretty dried out because I've had it for quite a while, but it still goes on the lips so nicely. Here is a swatch of it. I really do love it. I'm getting close to the point where I'm going to have to take the stopper out of it. Sorry, I have... <laughs> my wrist has been hurting, so I have a lidocaine patch, and this is my ponytail. I've got a lot going on, sorry. But yeah, so that is the swatch of it. I really love this color, and I can wear this color year-round. I would like to get another one of these eventually, but as of right now, I have so many liquid lipsticks, I don't need any. But... Yeah, I want to use this one all the way up and be completely done with it. I will show you that I have a little bit of scraping on the side of the tube there. So I am getting pretty close to using this up. But like I said, I'm going to have to pull the stopper out of this one. Then I did choose two pressed products. I think I'm getting a little bit ambitious with these, but I really want to try to get some more used up products. So I chose the Too Faced Sun Bunny. This is a deluxe size sample. And I noticed that these deluxe size samples last me forever so here it is here it is the two-toned one I do actually have the full size of this which is why I want to use this up I have only used this one or two times so it is basically brand spanking new and yeah I want to hit pan on this so I don't plan on completely finishing it but hitting pan would be amazing on this and I plan to use this as a bronzer. If you guys watched my bronzer declutter from last year, I can link that down below, but I said that I love using this during the summer, so I figured this would be a perfect project to put this in. So I plan on getting pan on this project or on this product. <laughs> then a product that you guys saw last year in my use up by 2017 or something like that. I can't remember what it was called, but it was my year long project from last year is the Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks blush. And this is a deluxe size sample and this is in the shade peach pink. I did end up repressing it because it broke in the pan, but here it is here. I love this for my blush topper. So I do have it on today as my blush topper with a tart blush underneath and it gives the most beautiful sheer glow to your skin. It just brightens your skin up so nicely. Honestly, I feel like any skin tone could wear this because it doesn't really give much color. It just kind of gives a little flush of pink with that brightness in there and it looks amazing so i would definitely recommend this and i want to completely use this up because i did have quite a bit of pan last year and i did repress it so hopefully i can get this used up by the end of this project so the eighth product that i chose was actually one that you guys saw in my shop my stash for this current month it is the master fix by maybelline and it is a setting spray and i do really enjoy this i do feel like this extends the staying power of my makeup, but not as well as the Urban Decay. It does smell the exact same. The sprayer is very, very nice on this, especially for a drugstore sprayer. Not that I'm saying that all drugstore sprayers are bad, but the few that I've tried haven't been the best, but this one is definitely the best out of all the ones I've tried so far, and I really do enjoy this. So this is where we are right here. It's the silver um, Sharpie right there, and it's a little bit more than halfway done. So I plan on using up this whole thing, hopefully before the three months is over, honestly, but we'll see how far I get with this one. Then my ninth product, I'm adding an S to the end of that because I'm doing two moisturizers and because they are the same moisturizer, so why not get them both out? It is the Hey Honey 24-7 
Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream, and I really, really love this moisturizer. This is very comparable to my Belief um, True Cream Aqua Bomb Moisturizer, except for the formula. I know that's weird to say that they're comparable, but on my skin, they both moisturize my skin so well. I can wear them both in the daytime or at night, and they both sink into my skin so nicely. They don't leave any kind of, you know, greasiness or any kind of layer on the top of my skin. They just sink in and my skin just drinks them both up. So even though this is more of a cream based and the Aqua Bomb is like a cream gel based, I do feel like they do the exact same thing and I'm loving these ones right now. I've been using them a lot. Um, this one, this one here is completely brand new. It still has the seal on it. So I will use up this one second and I'm going to use up this one first. So this one I've used quite a few times and I think it's probably at the black line here. This full one is definitely up here next to the honey. So hopefully, hopefully, we'll see, I can get both of these finished up. They do have 0.5 ounces in each and I do use it every single morning. So hopefully I will get these both finished up in this project. And the number 10 items, I'm adding an S again, is actually a couple face masks. So these are the oldest face masks I have in my collection. And I've got, I got them quite a few Christmases ago. I know that's probably bad to keep a face mask that long, but these seem to go really, really well with my skin. This is the Seventh Heaven brand. And I have the Dead Sea Mud, Mat, Mud Pack. And it looks like it's gonna be a blue mask and it says hard drying and cleansing mud. So this is the first one that I want to use up. And the second one is a chocolate mask. And these ones are usually warming. If I remember the chocolate mask that I used the last time, it was a very like warming sensation. And this one does say anti-stress up here, which I think is cute. And yeah, I plan to use them both up. The, this brand of masks is cruelty free, which I appreciate. I've been trying to pay attention to products that are cruelty free and are not. I'm not saying that I'm going cruelty free, but I've been trying to pay more attention to it. But anyways, I plan on using up both of these masks. These mask packs are typically five uses for me because I only use them in my T-zone. And if I notice that if I put them all over my face, they just don't work as well, especially like over here, they really don't do anything. So why waste the product? So this will be 10 masks for me. And if I get these finished up in the three months, then I plan on using up more masks. So I'll just roll in more masks if I end up using these up. So yay. So as you can see, those were the 10 products that I chose for the for this drop 10 by Summer Project Pan. And like I said, it technically started yesterday, but who knows? I filmed it on the 21st. Today actually is the 21st, but you guys are going to be seeing it on the 22nd. So sorry about that. But I do plan on doing the drop 10 pounds. So I am hoping to be down at least five pounds by my next check-in. That'll be in a month. So in one month's time, I plan to check in at five pounds less. And if I do that, then it'll be March. So it'll be April, May, June. So it'll be three months. That's a four. It'll be three months and hopefully I can actually end up dropping 15 pounds. So that is my goal. I know I can do it. I'm so excited to get this going and see how everybody else is doing. Like I said, I will leave links to everything I can find down below for this project. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to give me a like on this video if you're loving Project Pans lately. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.